Hey guys, it's Preezy. You know me. I mean, it's been like three weeks or something like that, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm feeling great. It's a little bit more of a different topic today, but uh, I wanted to start off by showing you a few pictures, you know. Um, you don't need to do anything, you know, just just look. Oh, oh that's adorable. Oh my, whoa, 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 no, how'd that get in there? What the f get, get it off my screen, bro, please! Please! There seems to be a pattern that I've been picking up over the last few, like, long time. You know, some people are dog people, some people are cat people. But when someone says they're an insect person, everyone's just like, What did he say? Oh. Coming from my perspective, you know, I see why. You know, uh, bees, mosquitoes, uh, butterflies. You've seen that SpongeBob episode. I know you have. Everyone's f seen it, and it's terrifying. It's it's just not that appealing to me and you know to each their own everyone's got their opinions and i can respect that but i wanted to talk about you know the most publicly recognized insect you know the most unanimously hated insect bug insect arachnid whatever the answer is obvious you know everyone's heard of them everyone's seen them everyone knows them and everyone for some reason everyone knows the phobia that they're named after it's creepy it's crawly, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's the spot. Jeez! Christ! I told you to stop that. Get that off my screen. There's just like a visceral reaction, you know. Whenever you see a, a cockroach, it's just like no one goes like, "Aww." Yeah. According to this very accurate and factual online survey I found, uh, spiders were considered a top contender for the most hated. Um, somewhere around 14% of people in the United States say that they hate spiders the most. And then out of fucking nowhere, okay, cockroaches come in with a whopping 27.3. 27.3% of Americans hate cockroaches more than any insect in the entire fucking world. That got me curious. Just wanted to see what, what what are we afraid of? What is there what is there to be afraid of? You know, what are these things capable of? And dear God, let me tell you, they are capable of a lot. <laughs> okay, let's get this started off with a big one. You know, it's not too it's not too important. It's not too like menial. You know, it's it's a, it's a nice big starter. Um, speed. Okay, uh, any bug that you've seen are usually fast, uh, but these are fast. Like I'm talking like three miles per hour fast for a cockroach that's insane i mean if you think about from the human perspective it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to run three miles i mean the average is between 10 and 12 minutes for a mile so you're, you're, you're thinking you know like okay so we're faster do you know how small those guys are they are moving an average of 45 their body length per second Per second. That's like me running across an entire football field lengthwise in like a, a second and a half. Which is basically what I already do. It's basically the bug equivalent of me. This one's kind of a subcategory because, I mean, I don't really see... Uh, I, I researched and I don't think there are any videos of cockroaches out there maxing out their bench press. But just keep in mind that these guys can crawl on walls, ceilings, like easy as hell. They also have been reported to be able to like stretch out their body and like squeeze through really, really, really thin cracks measured up to a centimeter, a centimeter. That is insane. I mean, I saw a reference on the internet that says that they've been measured to be able to pull up to 50 times their own body weight. So it's basically the bug equivalent of me. Oh yeah. And some of them have wings. I forgot to mention that. Only some though. I mean, you won't really know until... <laughs> You won't really know until it happens, so I guess. This shit, this shit's the real meat and potatoes, okay? Just, what does the word omnivore mean to you? You know, you, you think about all the, um, all the time this has been referenced before. You know, people are considered omnivores. Most people. So, like, you know, um, we eat meat, we eat greens, you know. We eat both, so omnivore, right? No, 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 I'm talking, like, the Latin definition of omni. Cockroaches are omnivores they are not omnivores they are omnivores yeah these living lawnmowers have been reported to eat soap glue leather what nutritional benefit does leather have not like it even needs sustenance you know because you know apparently they can live a f month without food and a week without water you know you know water that that thing that keeps everyone alive 
messed up my camera. Oh my god, don't even get me started on their their shell, their whatever the exoskeleton. I think is what it's called. It is so, uh, apparently so flexible and durable that the strongest stomp in the fucking world means nothing to it. Air, black Air Forces are clown shoes to this guy. The strongest dude in the world might not even be able to one shot a cockroach. It's to the point that there is an urban legend that literally says that cockroaches can survive a nuke. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, like nukes, like if you, if you like look it up, it says that they're hotter than the surface of the sun. And you're telling me that these, these little guys can survive a direct impact. Hmm? 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 Hey guys, it's Gamer Breezy here. I just wanted to show a quick example of what it would be like to, to be, you know, in front of a nuclear bomb when it went off. So here's our cockroach right here. Here's our little guy. Pretend he's just a cockroach, even though he looks like a human. He sees waving. Hey, what's up? Yeah. And this is our nuke. Um, so we're just gonna... Oops, oh, sorry. Wrong button. Ah, oh, it's gotta be... It's, it's gotta be one of these buttons. Oh, shit. I don't know which one. I mean, logically, it is impossible. But the fact that there is a big enough, like, rumor about this, the fact that you can type in on Google, can a cockroach, and the second option that pops up is, can a cockroach survive a nuke? That's, that's insane. That's insane. You know the French, right? You know, um, and Europe, those people. You know, they're doing, they're over there doing their own thing, doing, doing French things, you know? You do you, bro. I'm happy for you. The guillotine. The good old NLE head chopper. Let's do a quick POV, okay? You're sentenced to execution, you know, by the guillotine um, in medieval France, okay? Let's say you've committed like some heinous crime, which is probably something having to do with having free will. Your head's placed on the guillotine, the chopping block, whatever it's called. And before you know it, just dark, just blackness, you know, head gone, you know, fucking. I mean, I know there's like cases where like it only, it only cuts off like part of your neck. No, this is a clean cut. It's been sharpened. It's been cleaned up. It's perfect. Straight up. Head gone into the bucket. What would you do? Most of you would be like, you know, I'd be dead. You know, there might be like a couple seconds of consciousness left before all the blame. The, there'd probably be a couple seconds of consciousness left before all the blood rushes out of my brain. No, no. Imagine. Imagine your headless body standing up shaking the executioner's hand and then going home to take some Tylenol because your head hurts and then heading to bed, you know, just a normal day. These dudes, I say it like that. These dudes can live up to a week without their fucking head. First off, how did someone find that out? How did they, how did they, they, they notice, they got close enough to one that they noticed that its head was gone and then they were like, hmm, that's bizarre. I'm gonna try that on another one and measure how long it lives for. That's fucked up, that's animal cruelty. A week, headless. No head, not a fucking problem. I mean, most of you guys out there can't even live with your own head. You always gotta be looking for someone else's head. A week? Is that not crazy to you? This is, this is probably the one thing that took me like the most by surprise. I, I, I thought I, I'd end it off here because you know, it's a big send off. You know, dinosaurs. Everyone's heard of them. Dinosaurs are really cool. They're like the ancestors of humanity to an, to an extent. You know, you can argue every single living thing right here, like on, on Earth right now, came from some sort of like species back then. So you're probably wondering, you know, like with where are you going with this? You know, like, okay, uh, what species do cockroaches come from? Cockroaches come from cockroaches. They didn't. They didn't change. That's right. Throughout millions and millions and millions of years. They they just they, they were just cockroaches. Geologists at Ohio State, get this, get this shit. This is insane. At Ohio State University have found a complete fossil of a cockroach. I mean a a, a an an, a direct ancestor to the German cockroach. I'm gonna show you a picture on the screen right now. First off, let me just say, that's a big cockroach, okay? 55 million years before the first ever recorded dinosaur bone. Before like the earliest dinosaur bone had been recorded. These guys, okay, these guys, 
So you're telling me, you're telling me that these guys got the design down first try, first fucking try. And they've just been living it since. They've, you know, just been living it up. Invincible, practically. I mean, I know that's not how evolution works, but I'd like to think that that's what happened. They were just like, okay, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So they didn't break, they didn't fix shit. It just stayed the way they were, which is weird. But look at the fossil. It's the same fucking thing. It's just bigger. So basically the bug equivalent of me. <laughs> I went on this educational journey um, with the intent to educate, right? But um, instead, I am, I'm only scared myself even more of these things. So, like, what's the takeaway from here? I mean, what, what am I supposed to take away? I'll tell you what I took away from this. Screw humans being the apex predators, bro. I feel like this is like an elephant in a mouse scenario, you know? If I see one of those fuckers within like a 30-foot distance of me, I'm booking it. I am running for my life from something that only eats leather and poop to live. So basically the bug version of me.